Hello, I'm Dr. Martin Dietrich, a medical oncologist at Florida Cancer Specialists and Research Institute, and I'm here to talk to you about metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. In my practice, I treat a lot of patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer who have a history of smoking, and a common misconception is that these patients will not have an actionable mutation. But at my practice, I never make assumptions about mutational status. Any patient with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer can have an actionable driver mutation, and you should never base your testing decision on clinical characteristics like smoking history. Let me share with you why. Metastatic non-small cell lung cancer is not a single disease, and knowing whether or not your patient has an actionable driver mutation is critical before you treat. More and more actionable mutations have been discovered in the past few years, and as a result, over half of your metastatic patients with adenocarcinoma may have an actionable mutation. You might be missing these actionable mutations if you're making assumptions about your patient's mutational status based on their clinical characteristics. Characteristics like smoking history, no matter how many pack years, as well as race or gender, shouldn't stop you from testing for mutations. Any patient with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer can have a driver mutation. In a real-world analysis of over 1,100 patients in the U.S. who were on EGFR TKI therapy, nearly half had a history of smoking, about a third were men, and 85% were non-Asian. Choosing not to test your patients for actionable mutations based on these characteristics may mean eligible patients miss their chance for first-line targeted treatment, and they may miss their best chance for a longer life. Please note that if you start a patient who has metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with certain actionable mutations on first-line immunotherapy, some studies show that immunotherapy followed by TKIs may not be safe for patients with tumors that have actionable mutations. In these studies, sequential administration of TKIs after immunotherapy was associated with a higher risk of experiencing treatment-related adverse reactions, including lung-related toxicities. NCCN guidelines recommend treatment with targeted therapy take precedence over treatment with immunotherapy in the first line for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with certain actionable mutations, even when pdl one expression levels are elevated. NCCN also recommends against using clinical pathologic features to select metastatic non-small cell lung cancer patients for mutational testing. That is why it is so important to get a full molecular profile before beginning first-line treatment. It's essential, regardless of clinical characteristics, to test each of your patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer for actionable driver mutations, confirm their mutation status, and treat eligible patients with the appropriate guideline-recommended targeted therapy.